Hey, this is Dave. I'm going to show you how I use wind speed, some of the features of it, how I, um, you know, where where you put the um, flyers information, the loft information, the, you know, how you create a race and all that good jazz. So first to do, um, after you get wind speed installed in your computer, um, now I have, like I said in my other um, slideshow, you know, I have Pydex on my computer, and I also have, um, you know, wind speed, which is down on the bottom. I do not have a double-click program on here because I use it in the taskbar. So I'm going to open up wind speed, and when wind speed opens up, um, this is where you're going to create all your databases, you know. Like for our club in the Montello, we have an old bird season and a young bird season. So, um... I always create those, you know, for the year that I'm in. So as you can see here, I have Montello Youngbird for this upcoming year, and I also have Montello Oldbird, you know, for this year. So, you know, once you create one, um, you know, you're going to come in here and type in, you know, like test, you know, year, and then you're going to go up here and click add, and um, I'm sorry, and you're going to hit... Um, um, after you've created it, then you're going to hit open. And then it opens up, and you can see down here in the bottom that now you're under test year. And because I created it, there will be no stations in here, which I'm just clicking to show you exit. There is no loft information in here because it's a brand new loft. Um, no races or anything. So because this is open, if I want to switch back to the um, um, to another database, which would be another like Young Bird or Old Bird season, you have to go back up here and go back to Open Database. We're all of them here, so you're always toggling back to opening databases. You have to remember that a database is like a file um, that you would normally save, let's say in Word. You know, like you would create your schedule in Word or something. But each database is like um, your bird season, how I use it. So let's go look at old bird season for last year. And I'll double click and it opens up. Down in the right corner, you'll see Montello old bird. That's the season that I'm on. And up on the top here is where all of your, um, just like a normal program, you know, under master list. This is where, you know, like I showed before, you'll open a new database, back up the database that you're doing, restore a database if something happens and you have a backup, you can restore it. Um, and these top six on here is, um, I've really never um, list, done the colors of the list or the entry form, um, but the station list, when you go in here, this is where you create up where all you're flying from. You know, the name of your station, you know, Albert Lee or um, One Animal. So, no, I happen to put a number in front of it because we flew um, from that station a couple of times and they released the different spots. So, the latitude and longitude were different. So, that's why I had um, numbers in front of my station name. The distance is roughly, you know, what you call the distance, you know, 150, 200, 300, short, middle, or long. Um, how your club designates the distance of that club and of course the latitude longitude north south east west um, they always have to be entered in that format 41 colon 02 point and then out to the 10,000 like on a hundred thousandths or whatever um, you have to enter them that far out um, and then you will hit add after you've created it and then down below here um, after you've created all your stations as you go along, one of these buttons down here you can print. You can just print the stations, all of them, or um, print the delisted, you know, for a certain flyer only, or for all the stations, you know, and always watch this on here. One of them just prints to the screen, one's open them in WordPad. Um, I mean, that's how you get it to print, you know, so you probably have to have WordPad on your computer, which most people do. The GPS down here in the lower left corner, after you figured a race out and put this in here, 
you'll probably want to go calculate all because when the flyers have, um, which we'll show you the next screen, if you put in the coordinates for where they are, they will have no distance to that time until you press this button down here, which actually will calculate the distance, you know, 22.3 miles from whatever. So I'm going to click exit out of here, go back to masters and go into the loft list. Now see now here, if I pick like my, like Bill Lind, okay, I put in his address and stuff. And now this latitude is where he's, where his loft is located, you know, and his longitude is in there. Once it's in here, you can also go into here, down in the lower and so, uh, distance for selected loft. When you do that, you can see up, see he's got mileage for all of these lofts. Now, Western Union, Minnesota, there's nothing in there. And if I went back into the um, loft, which I'll show you back to the station, if I go back in there, you'll see that I bet you there's no coordinates under that, so it can't figure a distance because there's nothing there. And see, there's not. There's no coordinates, so it can't figure a distance if there's no coordinates there. So anyway, those are the things that you need to enter up first, stations and lofts, and um, get all that set up. Um, the bird list, of course... Um, I don't usually enter this in here now because when we upload a race and I use Pydex, um, Pydex is where I end up creating all the birds, um, you know, what organization from, year, club, color, sex, all in there. So when that's all done and I upload a race in there, all of the bird information that was in the clock gets merged into here so I don't have to go in there and create all this all the time. So that's kind of a godsend. Once you use Pydex and you link chips to birds, you won't have to be going into here under, there's a, if you see on the top here, there's another button for birds. You can physically create birds, you know, where you put in the band number and then click an AU here and then the year and all this and then hit add and physically do that for every bird. It's very time consuming, but I always just do this at the time of the race when you upload it from wind speed and then you'll be good to go. So, so anyway, so that's um, under there. The race data is where you actually will create your race. At the time of the race, you'll go into edit a race. I have races in there now. These were all the races. So when we did the first race, I put the time in here. There is a drop down arrow here, you know, which scrolls through all the years. And then you can put the, the date in there, you know, of the race. And it'll warn you when you exit out of there if you've made changes to something. Like, you have not modified this. Exit and discard, yes. So, if you if you attempt to change anything in here, see, that was set to 5.3. If you change that and don't hit update um, or, or, or add after you do it, you know, it's going to warn you. So, I'll try not to do that so we get that message. Then you want to put the race name. If you've noticed, I've always called the A race 1 Wilson and the B race 2 Wilson. That way it's two different, it's the same station over here. You know, as you can see highlighted in blue, Wilson, Minnesota. But one is a 1 Wilson is an A here. And the, and the 2 is a B there. Each got a different time um, of release. The sunset time has to be in... You know, military time. Notice it's clicked over here, Old Bird. And then the release and arrival times there. We use standard AU times. And then when you're all done, you'll hit add. So these races are created all the way through the year, you know, through there. So that's how you create a race. And um, if I get a time, I'll make a video when the season starts. And I'll actually make one to show you how I'm doing it. So anyway, that's that. Um then um, this button here, the clocks at us, this is the button I use in here, which will actually, I click to the C drive where it's there. Now, on this comp particular computer, I don't have that C at us even created in here because I don't use this laptop to upload Pydex into here. But on my other laptop, I do. The club one, this is just a backup one in case something happens. But when you do, 
and you do upload it through Pydex, you'll actually see down below in races in here, and then this this next up here becomes ungrade, and then you're allowed to merge the race in here. Then it comes into Pydex under the race data you created, and you're good to go. Like I said, it's an interface button, and it's a godsend. It's uh, and people that you know don't use it, uh, just wasting time and getting paid. <laughs> you know. They really do earn their money then, but I mean, this this gets in everybody's birds, and they don't put a you know a line and says I'm only going to do ten birds. You get them all in there, so I'm going to hit cancel. The clocks. Uh, then you get print in here. This is where you can print all of your um, all different things. You get selected reports. You know all of them for all of the races throughout the years. And up on the other one, here's all like diploma, single race diplomas. I mean. And over here, you just select your buttons. You want old birds, certain A's, overall, you know. So this, I, I ain't going to spend all my time going on this because it, it's just there. Um, merge data. You know, if you're um, like the club secretary of like the concourse or something, you would make a merge file. If I click on merge file, um, I didn't do that right. If I wanted to uh, make a merge... Um, it's called um, whatever you want to call it. It happens to always call it the name of your database, which is this. You could call it, you know, uh, test merge, or it doesn't make a difference. It's always going to be called this. Where it's going to save it, this is saving it to my um, E drive. You can save it, you know, to your desktop, you know, over here, wherever you want to save it. You just want to make sure you know where it is because you're going to need that. Hit save. Then it comes up and it says, what race are you merging, you know? Then you go down and um, if you have two races and a Wilson, you're, they're both going to be there. You know, like I said, we have an A and a B. You're going to hit OK and it's all done. It's all saved there. You hit OK. Then um, if somebody sent you one, you know, and you were the secretary and it was a concourse, you would go merge from file and you will see that, see, that comes up on there. See, there's my test merge, and I would highlight that and do save, and then that would merge that file. I'm not going to do it. It would merge it in here. So you can take data here and send it somewhere else, or they can have the file and send it to you. And um, that's it's kind of it's not doing a restore. It's just merging their birds into your birds. You know, um, if like I said, if you got five clubs, that's how you would do it. Okay. Then you got the configuration in there, which um, you put in there miles, or you change it for yards, kilometers, um, uh, show login box, and all this stuff. I always leave it defaulted. Um, and put your club name in there, save and exit, you know. Um, this uh, uh, flag here is where you actually upload your data to the um, uh, national database. Um, you know, you'll set your username and password up, and then you just hit website, and when a race season's over, you just send it there, and this has to be done, you know, so the birds get registered if they get any diplomas or awards, so. Um, the GPS button, um, you can put um, that in here. I've never done it, and it'll actually tell you from there to there, I do believe, the calculated miles, um, from whatever I've never really done that so you could put it here you know like a race here and here and it'll just tell you the distance so that's kind of neat um, then you get race rules um, that's part of it in there which talks about you know the real um, you know pigeon race rules that are out there that they're supposed to follow and it opens it up in WordPad and then of course the last one is um, on the top here is check your AU IDs that everybody's supposed to have their, you know, AU ID. So if they're legit. So anyway, that's about the gist of it. And um, once we do a race at the beginning of the season, um, I will show you how I create it and walk through the whole thing and, and uh, go from there. But thanks. Have a great day.